Hello, everybody. So this is going to be the first uh, pattern video for this fall uh, sale that we're doing. Uh, this is something that you can make at home for your pumpkin. Uh, there is sewing, hand sewing involved, but I have all the faith in the world that you guys can do this. So as you can see, little muffin here, I have a little pumpkin hiding the uh, private parts so we don't get in trouble. Uh, he's modeling the witch's hat and he's not too happy. But I'm sure your pumpkins will love these. So all they are are simple felt little hats. Um, they have a clip, but as you can see, this one, I don't even have it clipped. I mean, if you're just taking it for pictures or just having them sit around, you can just place them on their heads. Uh, they stay pretty well, but if you're taking them out and about, you'll probably want to use the clip so that it stays on. Um, you can use any color felt you want and any type of ribbon you want. Um, if you like this more organic look, um, these are more like um, silk ribbon or sheer ribbon. Um, and this is more just your typical satin ribbon that you get at the craft stores, uh, as is this one up here too. So all you're going to need is a scrap of fabric or a scrap of felt, uh, your scissors, the pattern that I'm going to provide for you, which is, and this will be in the files section. I'll definitely put a link to it when I place this video up. Uh, you'll need whatever uh, matching thread and a needle, and of course, uh, your ribbon. So let's get started on making a witch's hat. Okay, so what you'll do is you'll cut out these patterns, cut your felt out. Uh, this one is on a fold. So basically you're going to fold the felt and cut it out like that. And you'll get this piece here. Um, if you haven't done any of my patterns before, when you print it, you want to measure this block and make sure it is a one inch square and then you know that the patterns are correct. Okay, so let's get moving here. Um, first up, you take your little ring of um, felt. One of the ways to cut this little circle out, when you cut the larger circle, you can fold it in four and snip off the little Sorry, my hair is everywhere. Um, snip off the little end here, and that gives you your circle. Okay, now one of the things you're gonna wanna do is you're going to want to clip around. So if, I could show you on here if I actually had. So you're gonna just snip little cuts, maybe, what are those, eighth inch, fourth inch, around the edges, so that that'll turn in nicely for you. Sorry, it's hard to see on black. Why I decided to show you on a black hat is, you know, beyond me. You'll soon learn. I never think before I start doing these things. Okay, so put that aside. We're going to start with our little triangle. Um, you could sew this part on a machine if you don't want to sit and hand sew. Um, you could probably even hot glue it, but I'm really trying to get you guys <laughs> to sew. Okay, so we're going to fold this in half again. We're going to start at the bottom, and we're just going to tie a little knot down there, and cut off a little. Um, this is going, of course I don't have my roller. I believe that's a fourth of an inch. Oh, I am sitting here on a mat with a roller. 
yes that is a fourth of an inch seam so all we are going to do is do some hand back stitching we're closing this edge here okay so all you're gonna do is you're bringing your thread in you're gonna go back a stitch and then come up a, a little bit in front of that thread. And that is a back stitch. It's very secure. And that's how we're going to do this seam. Um, as you can see, now I've been sewing since, oh Lord, um, I used to make my doll clothes when I was little. So uh, yeah. Um, so I go a little fast here. Uh, you can, I mean, this does not have to be perfect, especially if you're making a black hat because <laughs> it hides a lot of boo-boos uh, because it's very hard to, it absorbs too much of the light and you can't really see. And plus this is an inside, the, this seam will be inside. So it's not gonna be that terrible if you have a really ugly seam. But I'm going to tell you to practice, practice, practice so you can get better. Because one of the great things, if you just even just learn to sew just a tiny bit, you can make so many things uh, for your dolls. And that's one of the things I want to start doing more on this page is doing little patterns for um, if clothes, accessories, just fun little things you can do for your dolls. Okay, you get to the end. We're going to knot that off. I'm going to just snip off the corner, not too much. And then we are going to turn this inside out. Chopsticks from your local Chinese restaurant. I always grab extra because I use so many of these in my studio here. Now, you can see already it sort of ha it tilts to the side a little bit. Um, if you want a straight conical hat, you can leave it like this. That is fine. But I'm going to show you how to make that little um, where it's crinkled over and it has a more, I don't know what, I don't want to say organic look, a more realistic look. I don't know. You guys come up with the word. Okay, now you get to sit here and see me try to thread a needle. Sorry about my thumb. Of course, now it's all dirty playing with this black felt. And every, I've said this before in my videos, everyone says I thread, I knot my thread weird. I don't know, this is how I've always done it. So, okay, I'm not gonna worry that that knot is big. Okay, so what we are doing here, we are going to bring our needle up in, um, I don't know, maybe about a fourth of an inch down. You don't have to go clear to the top but somewhere close to the top. You're gonna bring that in. Um, since I'm going to be pulling on it, I like to put an extra little knot up here. And then what we are going to do is we are going to take very large stitches or what uh, people that sew call a basting stitch. So. As you can see, if you pull on that, it gives it a little gather. And then I like to put another knot in. And don't sew your finger like I always do. So we're going to, I'd like to squish that down, knot that, and then that stays. You could even just do it that way. So this is where you can play and make it more your own. Um, you can have it a little more tall. I usually don't go down more than like maybe a finger's width toward the bottom. 
because you want that brim to be able, or the edge of the thing to attach to the brim. Okay, pull that in, and we're gonna gather some more. So you can see, you can gather it, and you can shape it as you go to what you want it to look like, okay? And then once you get it to where you want it, that's when you go in and you put your little knot. So we are going to have it in the wrong hand. Oh, um, you you guys are going to love this. Here comes my assistant. Let's see if she what. There she goes. Yep. I don't have good assistants around here. All they like to do is bother me. Okay. So, this is where you can play. And if you don't like how it turned out, you can always take the thread out or you can go back in with a thread and add more in. I think I'm going to go up and just try to gather it a little more here. And there's the dog barking. <laughs> I can never have a nice video. So what you do, once you get it gathered, you squeeze that and then that'll hold the threads tight. Valkyrie. Uh, okay, there, I like that a little better. Okay. So once you get it to where you like it, I always just draw this back into the inside so I don't have a thread sticking out. Snip that thread. And there you have a little witch's hat that is tilted over to the side. I don't know. I just think they look cute. Maybe I've watched Harry Potter too many times and I like the sorting hat. Okay, so I had to go up and get my pins. As you can see, the cat is walking across my workspace and now I have hairs on the felt. Okay, this is where these clips of the felt come in. What we are going to do is we are going to pin those up into the hat. Now I'm showing you this way. Usually I just go ahead and I can sew it without pinning it, but we're going to help you guys out here. So what this does is this helps that fit onto the brim. So you're just going to go the whole way around and ease those little tabs into the crown of the hat. Now, this sewing here, um, the ones that I have already done, I just stitched it and let it be. If seeing these little tabs in here bothers you, you can always just take a real thin strip of felt and either sew or glue it on top of those and it'll cover all of that. But there you go. That is how it'll be sewed into there. We're going to go back to our thread. And I sew from this side. I'll bring it in from this side. But all I'm going to do is basically take a little tiny stitch up on the top here.
And remember, we're going to place uh, a ribbon over this. So, again, if you're doing it in black, who really cares? You can hide so much on black. Um, so all we're doing is basically just tacking this in. Um, your dolls aren't too hard on their clothes, so get away with a lot. So that's, that's, this is all we're doing. Very simple. I know you guys can do it. I'm trying to get you guys to learn that if you just do a little tiny bit of sewing, you could do a lot for your dolls. And honestly, it saves you some money as well. I mean, there will always be those little outfits that you just have to buy because some of our seamstresses out there are phenomenal with the clothing. But some of the stuff you can make yourself. Here she goes again. <laughs> How many of you have cats and how many of them are always in your workspace? <laughs> of course, I have a dog walking around my feet right now. She wants attention. Okay, and I ran out of thread. Those of you that sew, why is it that you always run out of thread before you're done with something? One of the great mysteries of life. Okay. And I can't do anything with this stupid bandage on my thumb either. <sighs> Don't worry guys, I will never shoot videos and pretend that I am perfect because I think I'm one of the biggest hot messes out there. <laughs> you should have seen me getting prepped for this video. I work in three different areas of the house. So trying to find what I need to finish a project is a feat in itself. Okay, so I'm just going around the rest of the crown, sewing it to the brim. And as I said, I mean, this is not sewn on. I mean, it's basically just tacked on here. So this is a very simple hat you can make for your pumpkins. And as I said, if you don't like this showing in here, you can always get a little strip, tuck those up in there, and you can even glue that up in there if you want. But honestly, if someone's nebbing in the, or looking, sorry, that's a Pittsburgh word. <laughs> someone's looking inside your hat, they deserve to see what it looks like in there, is my thought on that. Okay, so now to put your ribbon on. Um, I'm going to show you how I put the ribbons on for these hats that I made. Um, you can always just, you know, put a straight ribbon around. But with this being a conical shape, sometimes you have trouble with it fitting correctly. So what I came up with, we're going to go ahead and fold under the edge there of our ribbon I don't have a lot of um, sewing stores around me um, so I do order stuff online but uh, this ribbon we have a little it's a scrapbook store close to me and they always have some of the cutest ribbons so all I did was I did a gathering stitch which is really big stitches in and out 
then you pull on it sort of the same stitch that I did to gather up the hat. And then we're just going to knot that to hold that gathered. Like that. We are going to where the seam is. Okay, those two little threads are bugging me. We're just going to go ahead and tack that right to the seam. And if you want to know what the word tack means, that means just sew it on with one or two little stitches. And that's tacking something just to hold it in place. Okay, so we are going to knot this. Now, you could cut this off and start over at the next one, but I'm gonna be lazy and just run it through the hat. Okay, so we are we have this gathered. Now, I'm going to mark with my pins on the opposite side of the seam. I'm going to put a pin. Then, I'm going to take in between that seam and that, divide it in half, if you want to be absolutely perfect, you can measure it. I just eyeball it. So in between those two and place your pin right here. Okay? So that's where we're going to tack these onto the hat. So all I'm doing is bringing that thread through the hat over to this point. I'm going to, you don't want it real tight. I'm just going to give it a little bit of room here. Okay. And we're going to just go and tack it underneath here. I usually don't use pins, but I'm doing this so that you guys can see where it's at. We're just going to pull this tight and it makes this cute little almost like a ruffled um, okay well I need to knot it first so that I'm not gathering the hat so I guess you could just knot each of these and start over so let's say we do that and I'll show you that way So cut that, knot your thread again, and then start when you tack it at the next one. Okay, we're going to bring this up where this pin is, give it a little room there. Oops, I got it stuck on the felt. Go down, around. See, we're just making, here's where it came up. Here's where I'm going in. So I'm just making the smallest stitch. And then how we get this together is just by pulling it. And you can even, so the, I need that a little tighter. So guess what? Just pull it tight before you knot it off. Okay. So you can adjust as you go. Don't be afraid to play with things. And guess what? For, you know, the cost of a sheet of felt, make a couple of these. By the time you get to like the third or fourth, you're going to be a pro. I just love this ribbon. Look how cute. Okay, two more tacks and we are done with our hat. So we are going to come in here, 
for the last one around here. Whoop. Okay. Yeah. I think I'll leave it there. I don't know. I just think these look so much cuter than just a straight ribbon around. Just gives it some extra texture. Okay, now for this last one. You're going to see where it's going to stop. So right about here. And you're going to cut it an extra fourth of an inch. And you're going to do it the same way that we started it. You're going to turn it under. And just hold that. Whoop. And sometimes with this ribbon, you have to put a knot at the end so that it holds. Put your basting stitch. through there, pull that taut, put that down, back down here, and like if you have some ribbon that's sticking out, you can always go in there and, now, with these gathers, I mean, this is fine how it appears but if this bothers you this seam where these two are at um you can always get some little embellishment and either sew it or glue it onto your hat um i have so look how cute and that's all it took i know you guys can make these if you have any threads, go back in, pull those out. And as I was saying, so I wanted to do, yes, I wanted to do your typical black ones, but I had this brown felt, and I said, I want to make some of these. And I had this green silk ribbon. Now, I didn't really finish this off how I wanted to do it, I wanted to find like little mushrooms or little birds. And I mean, you could really uh, go to town on these hats and add little embellishments and really make it a piece of art. So go get your felt, go get your ribbons and get making hats. Thanks for watching.